calmest man on the pitch. He's faced plenty of penalties in his time, got a reputation of being a shot stopper from 11 metres. Saved one on the final day of the English Premier League season last year against Manchester City. And then Middlesbrough a place in Europe, so he's used to the pressure. Fabio Carini, of course, is an experienced stopper as well. Just can't think about what's riding on the penalty. These guys are good enough to put it in the back of the net. Well, it's Harry Kuehl who's going to go first for the Socceroos. He thought 90 minutes of extra time was drama. We ain't seen nothing yet, folks. Here we go. It's Harry Kuehl against Fabian Carini. First penalty, Australia. Beautiful. Goal. Beautifully put away by Harry Kuehl. Sheer class, Harry. Sheer class. Was it ever in any doubt? No. Look at the game he's had tonight. You don't have the career he's had for being a shrieking violet. You step up and you get the job done. 1-0 for Australia in the penalty shootout. Now, next up is the man who scored the only goal in Montevideo. It's the left-footer, Dario Rodriguez. The bench is linked arm in arm. Rodriguez against Mark Schwarzer. Save by Great Schwarzer! Save. Great He's save. done it again! In the shootout, Mark Schwarzer is the hero for Australia. It's a massive save. It's huge. It is huge. He stood his ground beautifully. I liked it when Rodriguez stunted his run, not once, but twice. Schwartz is fast off his line, he's mobile. He didn't move early, he waited for the kick. Mark, you've done it once, son. You can do it again. Nice height, it had to be said. Listen, still a long way to go in this shootout. Still need nerves of steel from the spot. Next up is Lucas Neal, who's had a great game. It's Neal. Oh, it's 2-0. It's Australia 2-0 up in the shootout. And Lucas Neal was the calmest man on the pitch there. Pressure, what pressure? Two steps, thank you very much. Pick the spot, knew where he was going. Urging the crowd on Lucas. Tense. The it's tense. tense. On halfway, arm in arm. Team spirit for the jersey. Now here's Gustavo Varela. Another save from Schwartz in Australia and nearly there. It's Varela. Oh, it's just underneath Schwartz. It's too good. Again, he held his ground, Schwartz. He's reading them, he's not going early. Worked once, Tony Vidmar. What a way to cap off a memorable career. Well, Vidmar was the man who captained Australia to a famous victory over Brazil in the Confederations Cup a few years ago. Drawn 14 years' experience as a pro. Surely he's never had a kick as important as this. Well, he's done it all. He's, he has done it all. He's seen every situation. He hasn't seen this. Just pick your spot. Come on, Tony. It's Vidmar. Beautiful. It's beautifully put Good away. Good on your son. 3-1, Australia in the shootout. And that's standing closer to the World Cup. He's the hero. Tony Vidmar is the hero tonight. Bresciano finished the goal. Tony Vidmar has been a colossus in the tradition of Jankos and the rest. He's been massive. A lot of responsibility on a very young man's shoulders for Uruguay. Fabian Estoyanov against Mark Schwarzer. Here we go. Beautifully tucked away by Estoyanov. Yeah. 3 2. You must get this one. You must get this one. Have to score. You must go to 4-2 and put the pressure on their lot on this next kick. And as you open the door, a possible 3-3. Mark Viduka. And rightly so. 
Alex played a captain's role, Mark Paduka. Graham Arnold can't look. Paduka. Oh, he's put it wide. Would you believe it? Mark Paduka. Mark Schwartzer now. Who was enormous in the first leg. Oh, he's been enormous tonight as well. People miss penalty kicks. Roberto Baggio missed. Michel Platini missed in a World Cup. He's been a great captain. Now up to Mark Schwarzer. This would be a great one to save. A great one to save. Schwarzer just uh, perhaps a little mind game with Salajeta. Asking whether the ball was on the spot. Here is Salajeta. It's a huge save. Wonderful save. It's as big as we've ever seen in Australia. I'm sorry. I'm sorry it is. It's as big as we've ever seen under pressure. It's the sort of heart that you need to make World Cups. Mark Schwarzer, you are a champion. Now, that means that if John Aloisi can score this goal, Australia will be there. Are you sure? I'm not trying to do my best. 4 2. I can hardly, two. I can hardly he wins stand it for it. us. John. Here's Aloisi for a place in the you World Cup. For us. He yeah! scores! Australia have got it! John! Come on! John Aloisi, the Confederations on, Cup hero, has done Go it on, in the biggest game of all. Come on, Australia! Johnny Wayne! have passed since Australia ended its campaign at the 74 World Cup and now finally belatedly wonderfully and joyfully Australia is back on the biggest stage what a night what drama what tension and it's ended in success and Chris Hiddick is a legend oh, he's a freak he's a genius and his legend grows. But these guys talk about legends. They knew what they could achieve coming into these two games. John Aloisi, who better? Who better to get us through? A guy who's always put the national team first. It's cost his career at times. Comes from a big football family. Everyone in Adelaide will be going mad down there, right around the country. 32 years, Simon. 32 years, Bart's. His career was ended against Uruguay with a chop to the neck. He was a brilliant player. These guys, they've done it for the country. It's something very, very special. And they've put football on the map in this country. Kusinik has succeeded. Uh, before him, Frank Arrock, Terry Venables, Eddie Thompson, Frank Farina. They all tried so hard. But tonight, is Australia's night. They've deserved it. They've earned it. They said it was their time. It is their time.